old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Amen. Okay, good. Love it. Amen. So uh, let, uh, let, us, let us just look at it in the physical term, light, light. You know that during winter, every tree, every grass, every flower, they tend to stop growing. They shed their leaves. Nothing happens. Everything remains as if it is ended. Mm -hmm. But the moment a spell of light comes in, the mm -hmm. buzzing of the bee, they mm -hmm. begin to fly around to mm -hmm. pollinate flowers. Flowers begin to grow again. Life mm -hmm. comes back to normal. Every place is green. There is beauty. That is mm -hmm. what light does. Light does in our lives. Amen. Light is so important that without it, there is nothing that goes on. Mm -hmm. And we will always pray that Amen. that blessing God has given to us, that mm -hmm. we, will, we, prove on, we will continue to work on it, to receive mm -hmm. it, to use it. Amen. Yes, when God wanted to bless um, um, the ch children of um, Aaron, he, saw, he told us to tell them that you should, uh, you should speak to Aaron and his family saying, the saying, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you mm -hmm. and be gracious to you. Sure. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Mm -hmm. You can see that's a blessing. That is what light brings. Light gives you that blessing that no other one can give. Mm -hmm. There is no other, there is no substitute for light. No. Mm -hmm. No substitute. Light is life. Yes. Light. Hallelujah. Is, Amen. Light is progress. Amen. Light is prosperity amen because Amen. with lights Thanks everything begins well. to happen in the normal way yes amen. trees grow normally oh, food, food basket is grown amen. even the crops you plant begin to grow and use mm -hmm. food praise the lord amen, amen. amen. the amen. light that shines in and through you is the awareness that what you you wear before you get to meet jesus personally and accepted him and his sacrifice is nothing that can be compared to what you are now. That's there right. is a change that has taken place. Yes. There is a rebirth. Every every good every evil has died, and you have resurrected. Praise yeah. the Lord. Amen. You will treat yourself and others better. Yes. As you understand more and more of God. Amen. Things sometimes we are so hard on ourselves. But when you realize what God has done to, to us through his son, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you treat yourself better. You, uh, mm -hmm. you know that God loves you and will always provide for you all your needs. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Everything associated with light is an embodiment of goodness. Yes. Peace, mm -hmm. success, courage, mm -hmm. fruitfulness, patience, mm -hmm. grace of God. Yes. God has transplanted us from that kingdom of darkness into yes. the kingdom of light. Yes. And when light yes. enters, darkness comprehends not. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, again, he said, those that sat in darkness, they have seen light. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. What is this light? Yes. The land filled with evil. When yes. Jesus entered there, things began to change. Yes. There was a pronounced change, yes. a recognizable change, a change that nobody could doubt. That is mm. what light brings about. Hallelujah. Those that sat in darkness, they have received great lights and blindness to, to describe this uh, the change. You know, those that are without light, they are like people who are blind. Yeah. They are like people who are blind. They are, uh, they are spiritually lost. But when you begin to take unnecessary risks, you are going, you will go into the wrong path. But with light, you will be able to go in the right path because light brings clearness, Amen. clarity, Amen. brings peace, brings understanding, increases your knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. Light is great. Light is wonderful. Light is everything that we will need mm. to be where God wants us to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So recovering of sight is associated with yes. seeing the light and spiritual awakening. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, I want to give you this scripture again. In Matthew 4, 16 says, the people who sat in darkness saw great light. Mm -hmm. And to them, we sat in the region of shadow of death. Light sprung up. Mm -hmm. That is what light does. Light, when light comes in, everything changes. Mm 
for yes. the better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you must remember to give thanks to God, to God or the, our Father, who has qualified us to be partakers of his inheritance mm -hmm. of the saints and the light. Amen. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his their son. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How do we leave, uh, let this light shine in and through us? We, we should realize that we embody the same light when we share God's love with others as Jesus did. Mm. So as you share the life of Jesus, the word of God, and live a life that will exemplify what you, what you preach, but you don't preach one thing and live a different way. When we begin to show that life, it shows that light is everything that we will ever need. It mm -hmm. shines. It brings goodness to us. It, and you know, God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness mm -hmm. because he has given us light. Yes. We must make use of this light and live according to the word of God that we preach. Mm -hmm. We will learn to have a peaceful mind because light brings peace in our hearts. Mm -hmm. We will also know that because God has given us light, he has given us light to see to make preparations, to be, even if we are walking, we'll be able to use light and walk, use our, our wisdom to do things and encourage ourselves to grow in wisdom and uh, stature. Mm -hmm. What God gives us <coughs> is something nobody can give. Yes. The light mm -hmm. is only from God. No man gives light but God. Mm -hmm. God is the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. And as you shine, let us be thankful for the opportunity we have to be the beacons of hope for other people. Mm. And we must glorify God in heaven <clears throat> for finding us worthy to bear this light unto others. Mm -hmm. Because as you bear this light unto others, what the people watch is your association, your growth, the peace that exists in you, your good health, your long life, even your prosperity, people they are watching. And when they see the way you are growing, they will only understand that it is only God that can give us this kind of situation, that can make us live in this kind of life. So we must always praise God. We must always continue to live life. Sometimes there, there's a tendency that we make mistakes. When we make mistakes, we quickly recover and come back to God because mm -hmm. that is the only way. If we say that no mistake, mistakes can occur. But when they occur, we, when we fall, rise again. Amen. Because this light is always there to guide you, to guide your path, to guide your word, to guide your understanding, and to lead, see you through every difficulty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We must have the willingness to share and to be selfless. You know, when you have something you have to share and you keep it to yourself, just like having lighting up the light and you keep it in darkness, and you, you hide it. You mm -hmm. must be willing to share. Don't be selfish in sharing the word of God. Share the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because as you share it, it opens the door for other people. It makes other people to begin to understand that life is sweeter when you know God, when you have God in your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Situations yeah. arise when you are find yourself in so much difficulty. But because we have God, you see a change come in our lives. You mm -hmm. see the situations where we are not able to resolve, that we are not able to resolve. But because we have God, God sends a helper to us. God resolves mm -hmm. our situations. When you look back and see, you remember that there are so many circumstances you found yourself, but you didn't have solution. But however, solution came. It is only by the act of God that we have this. And remember, God has loved us already. So when he sees his children in trouble, he does not turn his back on us because he say, I will love you to the end of time. And he say, I will lift you up with my righteous right hand. Mm -hmm. This is God talking to you. And you must follow and make use of what God has already provided for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be ready to fulfill that God-given mandate. You say, God say, you should, you should, you should you have dominion over all the fishes of the sea, over the bears of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And you say, go and replenish, go and multiply. Mm -hmm. 
as you as you grow, because God has given you every reason, every source, every authority, every power to go and multiply. When you go into it, know that God also, who has given you this opportunity, will provide for you to be able to cater for your family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. let us see how light helps, how, what light has done for people. And I'm taking you to Exodus chapter 10, verses 21 to 23. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version. And it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hands towards heaven, that, they may be, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, darkness which may even be felt. So Moses stretched out his hand towards heaven, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You can see what darkness is. When we are talking about darkness, we are not talking about the darkness we have when we are sleeping because you could still see. This is pitch darkness. Mm. You will only know that somebody is there by feeling. You mm. touch, oh, are you there? You will not see. And they did not see for three days. But meanwhile, remember that Goshen, where the uh, Israelites lived, was also the land of Egypt. But mm. because God had his presence there, there was light in Israel. They went about their duty. They did everything they had to do. They didn't miss anything. That is the work of God. And now let me bring it to practical life. In a nation where they did not have to work for three days, you know the loss they have incurred. So that we tell you, when you have light, you have the ability to keep progressing, to keep moving, to keep doing things and doing them right. That is what God bestowed the Israelites with, the light to see, mm -hmm. the light used to make progress. Why the Egyptians languished in pitch darkness for three days? No wonder when they saw light again, they were they they, they, they started changing his mind. I mean Pharaoh now. Mm. Oh, it is a wonderful thing to have light because you mm. know that with light you can do everything that you have planned to do. You know those that run in the night, they will not have light. But if you run in the day, you will agree with me that you will be faster and better uh, and efficient in your race. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you know, people also are the bearers of this light. God uses people to bear the light. Mm. Let us see how Jesus was used to bear light to the people. Mm. This one is in Luke chapter 2, verses 41 to 52. We will we'll read all. This was during the celebration of uh, the Passover. They usually go there every year to celebrate in Jerusalem. So uh, Jesus was only just 12 years then. So they went for this program. When they finished, the parents, they all started returning. Even though Joseph, uh, uh, Jesus was not by, beside them, they, they thought that, they felt that he should be with some, some of their relatives. So they got home. When they reached home, they found out he was not there. They searched for him and they returned to Jerusalem. After three days, they saw him. Surprisingly, he was sitting in the midst of teachers and scribes, asking them questions and answering, them, uh, answering questions. Then the, the mother said, why have you done this to us? We have been searching for you everywhere. You know what Jesus said? Did you not know I will be about my father's business? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ooh, what is his father's business? Dispelling the light making the people to have the light mm. so that they can grow in stature and knowledge. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus told him, told her, did you not know that I will be about my father's business? He just, I didn't just come to this world to come and stay with you here. I came to this world so that my presence can be felt. Hallelujah. That what I carry can be felt other places. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is awesome. Amen. When God, you see, uh, but then, in the, in the last part of the uh, of the scripture in the verses um, um, 40, uh, 51 and 52, 
He said, he went with them and came back to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in his mind. The sweetest part of it now comes, he says, mm -hmm. and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, he, he was subject to them. Now, remember, even though he knows he has a heavenly father, his earthly father's parents, he did not ignore them. He also honored them. So as we go about dispelling the light, we must honor our parents. We must honor those who honor is due. And as you do it, you will <clears throat> in stature mm. and wisdom and we will mm. have favor from God and men. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as whatever we do, remember that the light, when the light comes in, darkness disappears. Mm -hmm. When light comes in, achievement can be seen. When light, light comes in, you will see a change in everything. Mm -hmm. Light is this, the main thing that we all have. And as we have this light, we must use it to the benefit of mankind. We must use it to increase people with, with knowledge of God. We must use it to do things that will bring honor and glory to the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as, Hallelujah. as we do it, <clears throat> what happened to Jesus will happen to you. I love that last verse, or verse 52 in Luke chapter 2, verse 52. He said, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Mm -hmm. As you begin to despair, mm -hmm. to, to, to give out the word of God, to use people, to make the word rich to the people, you will grow in wisdom and stature mm -hmm. and in favor with God and men. Mm -hmm. We'll end it here so that we'll go into a round of prayers. And I now hand over to Pastor Bridget. Thank you. God bless you. That was awesome. I just want to uh, continue from here. I'm quoting again from the book of Mark, Mark, Matthew uh, 5 verse 14, where Jesus says, you are the light of the world. You are a city that is set on a hill, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Yes. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Then verse 16 says, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works. <clears throat> and glorify your father which is in heaven so here uh, in this especially in this verse uh, in verse uh, 16 but first of all that verse 14 where jesus said we are we are the light we are the light mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome yes. we are the light yes we don't yes. have light we, we are, are the, light. the light we are the light mm -hmm. yes so we are the light. And then again, it says, we should let our light to shine before people. Mm -hmm. So we, how do we let our light? It's not a suggestion. It's a commandment. Let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Let your light shine. So we can decide to not let our light shine. We can also decide to let it shine. So it is in our power to let it shine. That's what Jesus is saying. Already we are the light because we believe mm -hmm. in Christ. Because he himself, he said, isn't that amazing? He said, I am the light of the world. Yes. And then again, he transferred himself into yes. us. Yes. And yes. then we have assumed the personality of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And, and then he said, we are the light. So we have to walk in that consciousness everywhere we go, 24-7. We must live in the consciousness that we are the light. We are the light. And we must let our light shine before men. How do we let our light shine? He said, the, the way we let our light shine is by good works. Mm. So when we, when we do good works before men, not before angels, mm. 
Not even, I mean, we'll do it before God, but not before, it's people we see. Because he says, if we don't love the people that we see, how can we say we love God that we don't see? So we have to let the good work manifest. And I like where Pastor Bere quoted again, I think it's also in the book of Matthew or Luke, where he says that the people, when Jesus moved into this uh, particular community, yes. uh, the, the land of uh, Nephtali and, and the land Zebulun. of Zebulun, he said that the people that dwelled in darkness they saw great light why because jesus came into that community and they were living in the shadow of death you know what is shadow of death just just think about the human shadow or any shadow at all a shadow shows the presence of something so like when people, like on a sunny day, you see the, the shadow. That's because a shadow of a human being, you see that there is a, uh, there is a, there's somebody there. Or even a tree on a sunny day, you see the tree has a shadow. That is, it shows the presence of something. So when we talk about the shadow of death, shadow of death is all the thing that show that death is present in that thing, in that particular uh, place or community. What are those things? Sicknesses, diseases, all kinds of dark things, all the darkness that Pastor Brother said we are not going to mention any of them. But this show that something that triggers death is in this place, is present in this place. But it says that when Jesus was in that place, he brought healing. Yes. He brought healing. All that, all the shadow of death, everything disappeared, and they saw great light. And we are ambassadors for Christ. Isn't that mm -hmm. what the Bible That's says about us? Yes. We yes. are ambassadors for Christ. So mm -hmm. when we, everywhere we go, we carry the presence of God. We carry mm -hmm. the light of God. Mm -hmm. we, yes. are, we come to dispel darkness, mm -hmm. just like Jesus came to dispel mm -hmm. darkness and all the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. That is, so now, it's, it, as long as we are in Christ, this is who we are. We have to let it shine by good works. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to pray is we are not going to pray that we will, you know, we're not going to pray that God will let our light shine. We're going to pray that we will, we will, our eyes of understanding will be open to, to see our position in Christ, who we are in Christ, so that wherever we go, we radiate. The light of God. Wow, Jesus. We radiate it. And when we come, when, I mean, even if, if we don't say a thing, people by your presence, they know that somebody different has come in here. Yes. That's who we are. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to pray for is God. We want you to open the eyes of our understanding to, yeah. to really represent you well. When we understand who we are in Christ, mm -hmm. Everywhere we go, it doesn't matter whether we are in Ireland or we are in uh, England or we are in America or we are in Africa or we are in the Middle East, wherever we are in part of Asia, in parts of the world, this is who we are. When we come in, darkness will, be, will, be, will disappear. Right. So, but if we don't know who we are in Christ, then we will not, we will not radiate. Because you have to have that awareness of who you are in Christ. Praise God. So prayer, our major prayer this, this evening is that we will have a clear knowledge, a clear revelation of who we are in Christ, that we are ambassadors. We are representatives of Jesus Christ. You know, today when we were teaching in church, uh, I made mention of, you know, the Christians. In the book of Acts, they didn't go writing on top of their chest. Oh, I am, I am born again. I am a Christian. I am. It was their lifestyle. Yeah. When, when they saw their lifestyle, and that was exactly how Jesus behaved, they said, these are Christians. This means that these people are like Christ. So they didn't, need, they didn't need to advertise themselves with all these physical things that we do nowadays. 
Mm -hmm. They didn't do any of those, mm -hmm. but their character was mm -hmm. what projected them. That's right. And the people knew that these people are different. Yes. These people mm -hmm. are not like us. In fact, again, when uh, the seven sons of Sceva, Sceva, you know, when uh, uh, they, they went about trying to cast devils on people, mm -hmm. you know, and the devil said, who are you? I know, uh, I know Jesus, I know Paul, but you, who are you? So the devil knows you, the people know you, the environment knows you. So if we try to pretend, you know, they know, they know. Mm. So this, is, this is what we are going to pray, it's so important. And mm. my prayer and our prayer tonight is that God, we thank you because you have already made us to be the light of the world. Amen. But if we don't know that, we, if we don't know that, Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Amen. If we don't know that, we misrepresent God in this world. If we don't know that, we underperform. We will not even do anything that Jesus said we should do. So mm -hmm. our first prayer, God, I want us to collectively pray that God will give us a revelation of who we are in Christ, mm -hmm. who he says we are. Because that awareness will make us really walk in the light that we, mm -hmm. uh, we already are. That's what we are. We are not praying that God will make us light. Mm -hmm. Jesus said already we are light. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are praying, Father. Mm -hmm. And I want every one of us to uh, pray in this prayer. Lord, we want a, a, a revelation. We, we, we want a revelation of, of who we are, in, whether as individuals, as a family, as a church, so that we will understand who we are in Christ, Lord. And we pray that God, you will give us that spiritual understanding. You give us that revelation. You will help us to know who you have called us to be, who you have said we are. We want to walk in the fullness of what you, what you have called us to be. We are your ambassadors. We are a city that is set on the top of the hill. We cannot hide. So, Father, we pray every form of ignorance Lord, in the name of Jesus, we, we come against every form of ignorance of who we are, every form of manipulation from the devil, every form of spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus. We, 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 we cast it out. We find every form of darkness, every form of Satan, every satanic influence, every antichrist spirit that is to blind in our eyes for, from knowing who we are in Christ, in the name of Jesus, Father, we take authority over principalities and powers of darkness. We take authority over that causes blindness. We take authority everything that makes us believe beneath the privilege we have in Christ. Come against it in the name of Jesus as individuals. We come against it in the name of Jesus as the family we come against it in the name of Jesus. We receive the revelation of God. We receive the, 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 the understanding, the knowledge of God. For the end shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. There are in the name that's a covenant. In the name of Jesus, we walk in the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. We walk in the anointing that Jesus Christ has given to us. We walk in the power of the risen Christ in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We bless you. The Bible says that God has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his oh, dear son in yeah. whom we have redemption through his blood. Oh, but we are already delivered from the power of darkness. Thank you, Lord. 
We are delivered from the power of darkness. We embody the light of God. The light of God in, is in us. The light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. When we shine the way we are supposed to shine, darkness cannot comprehend us. Darkness will not overcome us. Darkness will not understand us. They didn't understand Jesus Christ. They did not. We, we should stop seeking to Lord, let Lord, darkness Lord. understand or Lord, try to explain Lord, ourselves Lord. for the people who do Lord, not know Lord, God. Lord, darkness Lord. will not understand us. Lord, darkness Lord. will not comprehend Lord, us. Lord. That, when, when we come, Lord, darkness will give way. Light Lord, and darkness Lord. do not move darkness. together. The Bible says, what fellowship has light with darkness? What fellowship has he that believeth with an infidel? What fellowship do we have that we will stay in the midst of unbelievers and be doing the same thing that they are doing? We have to stay in the midst of a corrupt living and the people of the living God. We are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, the power that raised Jesus from the dead is living inside of us. We are overcomers. We are we, we, we carry we carry the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. We overcome darkness and we overcome evils. We overcome contrary spirits. We overcome spiritual blindness. We to sell ourselves short to misrepresent God. We overcome them in the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. When we come into a place, the place changes. When we come into a darkness, everywhere lightens up because we carry the light. We carry the light. Wherever Jesus went, there was light. But our people, the kingdom of God brought joy. Make Wherever we go, we should bring joy. They should not look at us and say, ah, these people are coming again. No, they should not look at us and, and say, this this disgusting people. You know, when the Bible tells us about Jesus Christ, everywhere he went, the multitudes followed Jesus Christ because they saw the light in him. You know, when, when we try to, you know, call people, run after them, Run after them, they are running away, running away from us. Why? Because we have not represented God well. We have not represented Jesus Christ well. We need to represent God well. We need to represent Jesus well. We, when, when we are coming, they're supposed to be running towards us. They're supposed to be running towards us because they know we are the solution to their problems. Mm. What did God say about Joseph in, in Egypt? He was the solution. He was the solution to the problems that Egypt had. So it's we are the people that are the solution to our generation. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, we, re we, we resist every form of spirit, making us not to know who we are. We resist power, blindness, spiritual blindness, making us not to take control, making us not to stand where we are supposed to be. In the name of Jesus, we come against those powers in Jesus' name. Father, we receive the, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, because he said that that power that raised Jesus from the dead is residing inside of us, that same power which is us, which is our mortal bodies, which is us and our children. Bible said we and the children that the Lord has given to us, we are for signs and we are for wonders in the name of Jesus. When we come in the name of Jesus, no power can stand against us. When we come in the name of Jesus, darkness disappears. When we come in the name of Jesus, sickness and disease will disappear. When we come in the name of Jesus, sin will disappear. When we in the name of Jesus, we, the entirety of the heaven of heaven, Jesus said, 
Your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. But we come, we come in the deity of the presence of the kingdom of God in everywhere we go. So we act in the name of Jesus. We find every form of ignorance of who we are. We find every form of lukewarmness in the name of Jesus. We find everything that Bless us not to hear the voice of God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, those that the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and those that hear shall live. Every form of spiritual deadness command them to hear the voice of the Son of God in the name of Jesus. We receive the power. Jesus said, you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you, yes. you shall be my witnesses. Hallelujah. For us to be effective witnesses of mm -hmm. Christ Jesus, we have to know who we are, that we are witnesses. And that's who we are. And the Bible says that a faithful witness shall not lie. We, we will not lie with our tongue. We will not lie with our character. We will not lie with our behavior. We will not lie with mis misrepresentation. We will not lie in any form in the name of Jesus. We receive that power, that anointing that makes us to be true representatives of Jesus Christ, true ambassadors of the kingdom of God. We receive it. In the name of Jesus, we and our children and everything concerning us, we declare in the name of Jesus, we stand for God in this wicked and perverse generation. We receive the power to stand in the name of Jesus. We receive the power to declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord. We receive the resurrection power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So that is, that is the prayer every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. That is the prayer we pray for the church. Mm -hmm. Pray for the entire foundation ministries church. And we pray for the entire church of God worldwide. Amen. The church of God, the church global. Amen. We pray for the people of God because we are in a time when those who are godly, the, the people of God, they, because of the louder, you know, the, the, um, the, the voice of the enemy that is, that is speaking louder and louder, even mm. some people who are Christians are now even lukewarm in their faith. Mm. We are going to pray for every child of God we are going to pray for wherever they are in parts of the world, in foundation ministries, in other denominations. We are we have the people of the, the Bible said we have one God, one spirit, one baptism. You know, that and, and we are all God, God's people. We are all in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are going to decree and declare that our lights we shine brighter and brighter in this generation where everything is getting darker and darker. What did the Bible tell us? It said that gross darkness will cover the earth. Uh -huh. Unto you that know my name, unto you that fear my name, he said the sun of righteousness, righteousness. will arise in it's you good. with healings mm -hmm. in his wings. Mm -hmm. We want to pray for the children of God all over the world. That they will receive that in that light of God and Amen. the revelation of who they are, and that whatever the attack of the enemy in their lives, in their families, in Amen. all that they do, that in all the ministers of the gospel around the world, we are all working as one kingdom, we are Amen. working towards one purpose. Our, our purpose is to do the will of God on mm -hmm. earth. Our, our purpose is that God's will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Amen. So we are, you know, when we keep fighting one another, when we keep, so that is a strategy that the devil uses to distract us from our goal of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, establishing the kingdom of God 
on, upon the earth that the will of God be done. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever may be the personal challenges of people, whatever may be the, you know what? Attacks of the enemy against the people of God. We decree against the enemy in the name of Jesus. We are, we are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, we are firebrands. In the, you know, there is no, flies cannot pass where the fire is. No, nothing can come when the fire is burning. The fire of God is burning around us. You remember in the Garden of Eden, after God sent uh, um, Adam and Eve away from the, from, the, uh, from the Garden of Eden, the Bible tells us that he used a flaming sword to circulate, to circulate, you know, to protect the tree of life. You know, that flaming sword, it keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Anything cannot come close. That thing will be destroyed. That's who we are in Christ. That flaming sword. Didn't the Bible say that the angel of the Lord encamped around about those that fear the Lord? So that's who we are in Christ Jesus. No weapon of the enemy can destroy us. Jesus said, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing, Amen. nothing, nothing. Amen. So in the name of Jesus, every form of darkness, every form of antichrist spirit, every form of challenge that the people of God around the world in foundation ministry, in other churches, in the name of Jesus, we come against them because Jesus resurrected from the dead. Jesus resurrected from the dead. No matter what to do to stop it, that Lord is tormenting the Lord out of the body of Christ. We are we are marching forward and the curse of hell cannot prevail against us. In the name of Jesus, we are firebrands. We are, we are quickened. Jesus has quickened us. We were done that thread, but now we are made alive in Christ Jesus. Our us and our children, us and our families, us and our everything that belongs to us, we will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When the children of Israel were living in Egypt, they said, Leave your leave your your son behind. Leave this place. And they said, No, our gods, our children, our animals, our cattle, our everything that belongs to us, we are living in Egypt. We know this thing. We are not leaving God behind. We will not leave our children. We will not leave our family. We will not leave our, our brothers and our sisters. Our our fathers and our mothers, we will not leave them. We go with them to serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, anything that stands against us, we bind them and we cast them out in Jesus' name. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ called his disciples and he gave them power and authority over all the devils and to cast them out. We don't meddle with Satan. We don't meddle with demons. We cast them out in the name of Jesus. We receive power. We declare our anointing is upon us. It's in our house. Everywhere we are, we have the presence of God. We have the power of God. We have the light of God. We have the anointing of God. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of Antichrist. We come against infirmities. We come against anything. We come against sin. Anything that makes us not to be who God has called us to be. In the name of Jesus, we come and get them, we, we destroy them, we find them, and we cut them out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That we thank you. We give you praise. We are, we are more than conquerors through Christ who has called us. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who has delivered us, who has overcome for us, who is written for our victory. We are victorious. Thank you, God. Thank you for our church. Church. Thank you for the church global. Thank you for every child of God. Thank you for the ministers of the gospel. We are all working together as one body. We are all working. 
together towards a common goal to establish the kingdom of God here on earth. In the name of Jesus, we destroy everything that militates against us and we cut them out and we tear them down in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you. We praise you for giving us this power. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lord, we praise you for the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. His, 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 all those critics that could not stop it. They could not stop Jesus from rising from the dead. Oh, hallelujah. We are risen with him. Thank you, Lord. And we are seated with him in the heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. Thank you for our children. Thank you for we are all serving the Lord. As for us and our house, we will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that our children will serve the Lord because your word said, Train up a child in the way he should go. When he grows up, he will not depart from it. We decree and we declare that our children will not depart from the Lord in Jesus' name. And we thank you for greatest of faithfulness because you said that your spirit that is in us and your word that you have put in our mouth is a covenant you have made with us that it will not depart from the mouth of our children or from their children, their own children, that's our children's children. Lord, God, we thank you because you who have spoken, you will establish your covenant. From you watch over your word in our lives, in our children, in our family, in our world. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Of good power of darkness, every form of the Antichrist spirit to silence us. Mm. In, this, mm. in this crucial time, we are in the world. We overcome them in the name of Jesus. Mm. We thank you because you said that the righteous is as bold as lion. Thank you, God, because we are the righteous. We are as bold as lion. Nothing can silence us. You have told us not to be afraid. Of those who kill the body, but they cannot do anything about the flesh, about, I mean, about the spirit. But we should only fear God. And the apostles, they said, is it better for us to be, obey you rather than to obey God? No, we will obey God. We will obey God rather than people. So, Lord, we have the same resolve, the same power that the apostles had that they preached the gospel, they, they did not mind all the threats. When, when, the, when the persecution was intense, that was when the church spread. The gospel cannot be hemmed in. The gospel cannot be destroyed. The kingdom of God cannot be destroyed. We will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We receive that power. And we we stand in the name of the Lord and we overcome all things. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Iberi. God bless you, Pastor Bridget. Thank you so much for leading us in that powerful session of prayers. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My prayer is that the light of God will continue to shine through every family, in every family, dispelling every form of evil. In the name of Jesus, Amen. because it, it, it is everything that is uh, that is in the dark world belongs to you know the devil. Amen. It's all evil, and it's Amen. only light we know that can dispel it. And we Amen. continue to pray that the light of God continue to shine in all families, all families. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. You can lead us just in closing the, with the grace. Yeah. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Goodness. Amen. And mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of the Lord.
Correcto. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. You were hiding yourself, sis. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. 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 you. God bless 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 you. Thank you so much, friends. God bless you. 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 God you. God bless you. you. God bless you. you. Yes. <laughs> God bless you. Mm. Yeah. I see what? connecting from individual has is better because there yeah. is no noise. Everything yeah. is clear. Yeah. 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 Everybody can talk at the same time. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yes. It was Pastor Richard's idea. Very, very good. It's yeah. very yes. good. It's better very when good. we have anything, you know, with to connect with you, we connect online. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's wow. very good. That's good. What of Pastor Mata and family and Pastor Marie? They're good. I sent a message to the FM uh, thing. Even I sent personal messages, but they couldn't okay. join in. But oh, maybe, they they join. maybe they are busy. Yeah. Busy, maybe. I know Pastor Mata is working anyway, so oh, okay. Okay. He's working today. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So tied up. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Uh, Bless you all. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.